In this c -sharp Basics video, we'll be doing a demonstration of array variables. Let's go ahead and start off by declaring an array variable. To create an array variable, we first need to give it the data type, which in this case is going to be an int. Then we need to use the open and close brackets to declare it as an array. Now we need to give our variable a name. It's going to be values in this case. And let's finish this off by putting a semicolon to end the statement. Now, of course, we get the green squiggly line because we're not currently using the values variable, but we will shortly. Now we need to tell our values array a subscript range. So we're going to say values and use the assignment operator, new, int, and this is going to be an array, and we're going to use three. So we're going to assign three different values to this values array. And we can go ahead and end our statement by putting the semicolon. So now that we've declared our array and we've set an initial subscript range, we need to go ahead and start assigning some values. To do that, we just need to use the variable name, which is values, and then in brackets, use the numerical designation of which location within the array we want to assign the new value. Now, since the range starts as a base zero, that means the first location within our values array is the zero location. Let's go ahead and assign a value. We're going to use the value of 3. Now we can go ahead and assign another couple of values. So we'll do values, and we'll do the second slot, which is subscript 1, and we'll assign it a value of 13. Next, we'll go to the values 2 subscript, and we'll assign it a value of 34. Now, what do you suppose would happen if we tried to do a values subscript 3 and we gave it a value of 45? We see no red squiggly lines, so everything must be all right. Well, let's go ahead and run this just to see. So I'm going to save my project and then run it. What we end up with is an index out of range exception error. Index out of range exception error means that we tried to use a value for our subscript value that was higher than what we initially created for the variable array. Let's go ahead and exit out of our application by simply closing on the X on our console window. Let's go ahead and take out this fourth value that we tried to set. Now let's do something interesting with our values. Let's go ahead and write to the console window. Console dot write line. We'll do a little bit of math. So we'll do values. We'll do the first value plus the second value, which is value subscript one, and then we'll subtract the third value, which will be subscript two. And let's write that out to the console window. Let's add a console.read line so that the console will wait for someone to enter a key in the console. Should complete our application, let's go ahead and save it and run it. The result we got was negative 18. And if you do the calculation, 3 plus 13 is 16. 16 minus 34 leaves negative 18. So this application operated just as we expected it to. Let's go ahead and comment this section out and add some new lines. Go ahead and declare again our int array of values. But this time, we're going to assign it new int array but we're going to give it a subscript of 3, just like we did before. And now we can go ahead and use the curly braces to assign some initial values. Let's use 2, comma, and the comma separates the different values that are going into the array. So 2, comma, 15, comma, 23. And then at the end, of course, we need our semicolon. Let's go ahead and save our program and run it. The result we get is a negative 6. So that's 2 plus 15, which is 17, minus 23, which is negative 6. These are a nice utility that allow us to list different values in one single variable. That way we don't have to keep declaring new variables every single time we want to add or remove a variable. But I should tell you that there are some alternatives to arrays that we will be going over later in this course.